Okay, let's look at an XPC vulnerability. So the background here is that in macOS and iOS, there's a thing called XPC, which stands for macOS X, macOS 10, macOS X interprocess communication. And it's used to send information between different processes. And it's basically a serialization mechanism for type length value, TLV type data. And that encodes things like dictionaries, arrays, integers, and other data types. So you can have types encode like an array of other types. So this type would be an array, the length would be the total length, and then the array would be of things. And those things could be integers, those things could be subarrays, and so forth. So it's just a serialization and an encoding scheme to send information between processes. So there's a particular daemon called CVM server, and that stands for Core Virtual Machine Server, although virtual machine in this context is not like VMware style virtual machine, but instead virtual machines like Java virtual machines, things where you're translating languages. So this particular daemon accepts XPC messages, and one of those types of messages is information about OpenGL shaders. So OpenGL is a graphics thing, and these shaders are small programs written in a C-like language that basically execute, execute on the GPU. And so CVMS server is responsible for taking these shaders, translating them into native code that can then run on the processor and have this thing you know, run on the GPU. And so it shares that memory back to the original client in a executable shared memory region. So the interesting thing that makes CVMS server something that an attacker might want to compromise is the fact that it runs as root, so it's got high privileges, and for instance, it's accessible from the Safari sandbox. So usually a user is not running Safari as root, and of course web browsers are one of the main places that attacker-controlled inputs are used to compromise the system. So if you break into Safari, then all of a sudden you can run code that can talk to CVMS server, and if you successfully exploit that, now you've escalated from Safari to root. So this particular vulnerability was found while the researchers were analyzing a previous patch for an integer underflow vulnerability. So they said, you know, here's the description of the underflow vulnerability that's given in three. They were looking at the fix that Apple provided and they saw that fix actually introduced a new OODA vulnerability. So what I want you to do is use your knowledge from Vulnerabilities 1001 of integer overflows, underflows, and let's look for some acid math that's going to lead to an acid bath of integer underflow. And then once you find that, then I'll give you the patched code that has the fix for that, and then you'll find the UDO vulnerability inside of that. So here's some pseudocode for the vulnerability, and it's nice and small, and I've told you what's acid, I've told you what's sassy. So go ahead and look at the code on the website and find the integer underflow to start with.